Tension between Carol Mosley Braun and Patricia Van Pelt Watkins started early this afternoon at a candidate's forum on the South Side. Watkins wandered aloud where Braun had been for the past 20 years. We haven't seen her. We haven't heard from her. All the violence running rampant in our streets. I did not even know the woman lived in the city of Chicago. I think Candidates Miguel Devalier, Doc Walls, and Gary Chico sat in amazement when two minutes later, Mosley Braun had her chance to respond. Patricia, you didn't know where I was for the last 20 years because you were strung out on crack. Now, you have admitted to that. You also were in a cult. You have admitted to that. The tension spilled over to New Mount Pilgrim Missionary Church, where a group of Watkins supporters blocked the entrance and surrounded Mosley Braun as she pushed her way through. Inside, West Side residents were there to hear the candidates speak. But when Mosley Braun stepped on the podium, the same group that was outside booed her. Chicago police had been called in as a precaution and tried to bring order. When the crowd calmed, Pastor Marshall Hatch preached to them. This is absolutely embarrassing. And all of us know each other. When the candidates stepped up to the podium again, the Watkins supporters left. Mosley Braun said she was not shaken by what had just happened. Fearless is my middle name. <laughs> Ask her about the words exchanged earlier in the day at the church forum. When she said she didn't know where I had been, I said, well, maybe that's because you, as you have admitted, you were on crack. Let's just tell the truth. Patricia Van Pelt Watkins has admitted to being a cocaine when she was younger and says she's been sober for 35 years. As for the cult accusation, all we found was that she's a member of Ambassadors for Christ Ministries.